All right, I'm going to start a video by saying, Call all your Hawa, by Hashem, Yahushua, by Hashem, Raka Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, great male, son of a well, and shalom on your brothers that are preaching and teaching the truth worldwide. Um, I'm going to say shalom on to the hopeful let your brother Kaya. Come back with another lesson. This lesson is, in, is, is entitled, I See Why. <laughs> Simply, I See Why. I'm going to play this clip. And then you fill in the blank. I see why dot dot dot. Shalom, Israel. First giving all praises to Yahweh Bashiba Mashiach Yahushai. All praises due. Peace and salutations to the royal house of David. This is what it's all about. I know some of y'all out there uh are cooking and eating. And we're doing the same thing over here. Uh, if you haven't any reservations, I just want you to know that, it's, that, it, that it is okay. All right. Um, scripture says in uh, Romans chapter 14 that some men esteem one day above the next and some men esteem one day all alike. We choose with a conscious choice to make this Yahweh Shai day. And we do this uh, uh, in remembrance, all right, of our son and brother who died. For Israel to reunite the northern and southern kingdom. And this is the symbol, all right, that 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 we hold dear and will always hold dear throughout all eternity. All right. So anybody saying that we're worshiping Thanksgiving or we're uh uplifting the murder of Native Americans, that's a damn lie. We're not upholding any of that. We're changing the meaning of this day because we are beginning now to destroy the idols out of the land. We have no respect or no love for any fucking Thanksgiving. This is Yahabashai Day. And every day that we celebrate, we're going to do this in remembrance of him. All right? So, uh, we might as well show you the spread. All right? And uh, if y'all like, you can uh, send me what y'all cooking. But we're going to show y'all what we're getting ready to eat on. All right? Shalom. What we got here? We got some roast. Uh, what is that? That's turkey. Turkey. All right, that's the turkey. All right. All right. We got we got yellow corn with bacon, pepper bacon at that, and black pepper. All right. We got fried cabbage. We got uh dirty rice, and over there we got uh cornbread dressing. Coming on around. What's this right here? That is the pork roast. This is cut up pork roast. That's the beef roast. Cut up beef roast. <laughs> I just lost the pork. And this is uh my world famous. Look at that ham right there. Y'all see that? Y'all see that there? Do y'all see that there? All right. That's that 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 ham. That ham was marinated in Coca Cola for about two straight days. Okay, Got my own private glaze on there. All right. And <laughs> The mac, <clears throat> the mac and cheese. You wait, was that deep enough? The mac and cheese. I see why. Don't have to feel it. I don't have to put anything behind that title. Just, I see why. I see why two thirds will be cut off and die over here in America, Babylon the Great, because Jake is waxing worse and worse. Oh my goodness. Like, Jake wilding out, man. Jake. Jake wilding out. Let's just, let's just go to scriptures. Leviticus um, 11, verse 7. The straight scriptures. Leviticus 7, um, 7 and 8. And the swine. Here it is. He's making a feast. And he could have made corn. He didn't have to put bacon in it. He could have had a beef um, roast. It's nothing wrong with you know having you know turkey or anything like that. But it's it's the the foundation that he is is trying to change Thanksgiving to Yahushua's day. You can eat turkey any day. I mean, I like turkey, but I'm not going to sit up here and and make a feast on Thanksgiving day and then call it Yahushua's day. Now, granted, your know, brothers and sisters got to eat. 
So if your relatives are, are, are making a plate, yeah, go get a plate. You still got to eat. Can't sit up here and just like, oh, no, I ain't going to eat no turkey. Nah. But you're not. They are actually making uh, uh, abominable foods. <laughs> and then trying to say, now nah, this is Yahweh Shah's day. No, the foundation is 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 is, is wicked. So here it is. The foundation of so-called Thanksgiving was founded on rape, rob, and murder. So now you want to turn around and flip it and say that this is Yahweh Shah's day. You're going to fuck off. <clears throat> Leviticus 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divided the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. It's unclean to you. You cannot be putting bacon and pork rolls and doing all these different things and then trying to say that now this is you sending up a sacrifice to Yahweh Hashem Yahushua of their flesh shall ye not eat and their carcasses shall ye not touch they are unclean to you that's simple doesn't need an exhaustive breakdown read it word, word, uh, you can read this word for word the Lord said it's unclean now you're supposed to touch the carcass of it let alone consume it. But now they want to turn around and say that, you know what? This is dedicated to the Lord. The Lord is not receiving that sacrifice. Nope, he's not receiving it. So Ecclesiastes. <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 32, verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved. Those Jake will not be reproved. No matter how many videos come out, <clears throat> no matter how much edification will come come out saying you're going off, a sinful man will not be reproved, but find an excuse according to his will. So he want to try to use scriptures to try to justify his wickedness. You're going off, Jake. Simple as that. A, 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 a sinful man will not be reproved, but find an excuse according to his will. So he wants, according to his will, he wants to justify the wickedness that he's doing. But, hey. Hey. Somebody got to know that they're Israelite and die, according to scripture. <laughs> Daniel 12, verse what, 10. Daniel 12, verse 10. Um. Many many shall be purified, made white, and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. Actually, let me, uh, Daniel 12, actually, I'm going to start off, Daniel 12, verse 2, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. So, they they woken up. They know that they're Israelites. They they call on names. Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. You got Hebrew names. So they, they woken up to the truth, but they don't have that breath. Um pursuing the oh it says Zika 37. There's no breath of them. They don't have that understanding. They don't have a basic understanding that you're not even supposed to eat pork. I mean that's like Hebrew is like one on one. That's like the first thing you learn <laughs> is the law. <laughs> wow. And many of them and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life. So some Israelites are going to wake to the truth, and they're going to receive their everlasting life. And some to shame and everlasting contempt. Hey, through the Spirit, it seems like they fall into that everlasting contempt because of sinful men. They're not going to be reproved of their ways. And they that be, and I'm going to jump down to verse 10. Daniel 12, verse 10, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So the wise are people, they understand. They understand that they shouldn't be making a feast on Thanksgiving Day and then turn around and try to send it up as, as, as a sacrifice to your how about Shema Shah. Jake, you're going off, man. You are going off. And I'm gonna end it with this first Timothy. When I saw that, I was like, what the fuck is Jake doing? Like, is this like 
uh, a comic view. So you brothers that are old enough, like remember comic view used to come on BET. But this like this this Jay Wilder man, he was a comedian. <laughs> A comedian is going to be destroyed. First Timothy 4 verse 1. Now the spirit speaker expressed that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devil. <laughs> that is a seducing spirit. He's seducing our people saying that now, now, according to him, you can have a feast and have pork in it. That's a, and, a, and that's a doctrine of devil. Jake, you going off, man. We... You didn't learn that from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Nah, I don't know who you learned from me. <laughs> I saw one of come 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 in. Hey, that's what he, you learned from YouTube. He learned from I don't know who you learned from. He that can't be can learn from one whiz. <laughs> Verse two. Speaking lies in hypoc speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. This dude conscience is seared with a hot iron. And when you uh, back in the old days, they were cauterized. Like if you had like a like an amputee, you would cauterize um, where they would cut it so that nothing can come out and nothing could come in. So was locked into his mind that hey, he think that he can eat a feast and send it out to Yamba Shimam Shah, and then within that feast put all kind of pork in it. But then when the videos come out rebuking that madness, he's not gonna receive it because what? The Lord got a hey, got his country sealed with a hard iron. A hey, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time, shalom and a Bible ball. I see why.